Fit Body Nation, we are gonna rock it out today with an awesome back workout. So grab every dumbbell you have in your house because you're probably gonna need the lightest to the heaviest weight today. It's gonna be crazy. Like Sarah said, make sure that you've got your dumbbells. I'm gonna be using a set of 30 pound dumbbells, a set of 20 pound dumbbells, and if I need to, a set of 10 pound dumbbells that Sarah will have. Sarah's specifically gonna be using a set of 10 pounds. She's gonna use some of my 20 pounds and she's got two water bottles filled up with water just in case. So this is going to be the definition of beast mode workouts today. We're gonna to be focused on the back, building up the strength, the muscle, and the definition. So with that being said, if this is your first time to the Fit Body Nation, I wanna be the first one to welcome you. My name is Trainer B. I'm Coach Sarah. And we like to get down with fast-paced home workouts. Also do something called the Home Fitness Challenge. That's where we take 16 challenges that you can do at home. Those challenges, they could take you an hour, they could take you a day or a week to complete, but once you complete them, you can go and check them off. You're given points for each challenge that you complete. Those points put you on a live leaderboard. So during the six-week series, you can compete with myself, you can compete with Sarah, and you can compete with people all over the Fit Body Nation, all over the world. So with that being said, let's get today's workout started. So we've got our four circuits. In those four circuits, we've got four exercises. We're gonna spend 30 seconds a piece on those four exercises going through each circuit for a total of four rounds. Let's get this warm up started. Okay, we're gonna start our warm up with squats today. So let's keep our feet about shoulder width. We're gonna drop it down. Now, we're pretty much 100% focused on back today, upper back and our lower back. There will be some shoulders touched in there, but we're just gonna get the blood flowing with our warm up. That's all we're doing, okay? We're not gonna do a whole lot of exercises for the back during our warm up, but we're gonna just do some calisthenics, some light body weight exercises to get the blood flowing. So you won't wipe yourself out or anything like that. And we're having to shoot this workout pretty late because our son has decided that he doesn't wanna sleep at night anymore. So we're, we're, we're fighting with that. I think it has to do with him being sick, but we're going back and forth. So it's pretty late. Hopefully I get this workout up and on time. We got into a bad habit of doing that, so I need to get this one out to you. All right, now, let's take it into high knees. Let's jog it out on this one. Good, there we go. So again, just a light jog, just enough to get the blood flowing, get the joints loosened up. I know I've been sitting down quite a bit today, so behind the computer working on stuff, but definitely need to get my, my joints loosened up. There we go, perfect. That's it. Keep moving. Don't stop. We got it. That's it. Keep working. Come on. Now, let's go ahead. We're going to take it into jumping jacks real quick. So jumping jacks. Good. And hopefully your legs are recovered from our Monday workout. I know mine are feeling pretty good today. They were a little bit sore, but not too bad. I thought I was going to die during the workout itself, but I'm pretty much recovered from it now. I still need to make that one up. <laughs> That's all right. You make it up. Plenty more workouts in the future. All right. Let's keep going on this. Come on. Don't stop. And let's go ahead. Let's take it back into a jog. Good. Just a nice, easy, light jogging it out. Perfect. It's only a few more seconds on this. There we go. We are going to drop it down into a push-up, though. We'll do some push-ups on our knees. That way we get the blood flow into our arms and our upper body, not just our legs, because we're not using our legs. All right, so let's drop it down into push-ups. So on this one, on your knees, even if you can do them, one-arm push-ups don't. Save your energy. You will need it for this workout today. All right, it's a, it's a big workout. A lot of new exercises in this, like always. Some old school exercises, but we're going to be playing with some heavier weights, some lighter weights, using a lot of power and a lot of strength. So save your energy. You will thank me. All right. Keep moving. About 10 more seconds. We're going to be back up to our feet and we'll be done with the warm up in three, two, one. All right. So relax. Make sure that you've got all the dumbbells in your house available to you. I'll let you know what size of dumbbells you need before we go into 
the circuit. But I'm gonna explain our first four exercises in our first circuit. So for this first circuit, I'm gonna be using a set of 30 pound dumbbells. Sarah's gonna use a set of 20 pound dumbbells and 10 pound dumbbells. Choose your dumbbells accordingly. But the first exercise is gonna be a bear renegade row. So we're gonna be in the bear push-up position. We're gonna do a bear push-up renegade row on the left side. So for this, your body stays in a squared position. Push-up, renegade row. Left arm only with the renegade row. Then we're gonna go straight, standing up, all right? We're gonna do a bit over row. So pulling the dumbbells up to our sides, squeezing our shoulder blades together. That's gonna focus on building muscle and strength in your upper back. Then we're gonna go back down into that bear position, doing the push-up, renegade row on the right arm. Push-up, renegade row on the right arm. And then the last one is gonna be a standing reverse dumbbell fly. We're gonna be right here. We're gonna go nice and wide with the dumbbells. Again, focusing on the upper back. This first one's gonna be tough, but we're gonna dominate. All right, so go ahead, get your dumbbells ready. We got 15 seconds till we start. You ready for this? Ready. All right, you ready? Boom, that's what I wanna hear. We got five seconds till we start. So bare renegade row, left arm only. All right, so bare push-up, renegade row, left arm. Bare push-up, renegade row, left arm. Don't worry about how fast or slow you're going. Just go at a pace that you can maintain. Might be slower, it might be faster. Bear push-up, renegade row. 12 seconds left, then we're going straight up to our feet, going in over to the bit over row. Can't talk. Five seconds. Come on, keep them going. Bear push-up, renegade row. All right, up to your feet. So for this one, you're gonna pull the dumbbells up to your ribcage, right back down. This isn't made to go fast either. Pull the dumbbells up, right back down. Good, bent at the hips, keeping your back straight. There we go, that's it. Now, try to look up for this. If you're looking up, you're gonna keep better form without getting a rounded back. Got three seconds and back to that bare push-up ring a row. Here we go, all right, now right arm. So bare plank position, push-up, row. Bare plank, push up, row. Try to pull that dumbbell all the way up to your ribcage. Here we go. We've got our reverse flies coming up next. And then we get a rest. Doing awesome. Right off the bat, we're gonna get these muscles really working. Pull it up, squeeze the shoulder blade at the top. All right, here we go. So stand into your feet. So nice and wide with this. Control the dumbbells coming back down. There we go. You got it. Let's work on this one. 16 seconds. Whoo! Feeling it. This is a tough one. We're doing pulling motions here. So, it's also going to work your biceps some in there. Man. All right, relax. Good. Whoo! We got 30 seconds. Going back into the bear plank renegade rows. All right, or a bear push-up renegade row, technically. Okay, so you're gonna start getting that lax gas in. You're gonna start getting that pump going. Doing good. Make sure you're using some heavy enough dumbbells to really challenge yourself. I know Sarah is, she's stepping them up with the 20s today. All right, three seconds, get ready. All right, here we go. So, bear push-up, row on the left arm only. Bear push-up, row on the left arm only. If you need to slow down, slow down. That's totally fine. I'd rather you have good form, get out a few reps in good form, than bad form and going fast. There we go. Ten seconds left. Come on. Keep those knees close to the ground. All right. So, bit of a row. Here we go. Pull the dumbbells up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. When you do it, right back down. Pull them up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, right back down, good control. I like to go down slower than even pulling the dumbbells up. There we go. Whew, that's it. Body temperature's rising now, sweat's gonna be dripping Damn. by the third circuit. Here we go. And 
All right, bear plank or push-ups with the renegade row. Just pull it, push it, pull that dumbbell up, nice and high into the rib cage. I get my face pretty close to the ground when I'm doing those bear push-ups. Here we go, come on. Whew. This is not easy, but you can do it. We've got our reverse flies coming up next. That's it, you got this, come on. All right, here we go. Put your feet, reverse fly. Ooh. Good. Ah. This is gonna, it's gonna be painful by the time we get done. We're gonna make it one circuit at a time. That's all we're focused on. If you need to pause in between the rest, you pause in between and rest. Whew, it's a good thing about a YouTube video. You can pause it if you need to. Four seconds. All right, we got our last round coming up. We're not going any faster. We're going to maintain that pace. All right, definitely need to get something to drink on that one. All right, 13 seconds. One more round. You going to make it? Oh, yeah. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Eight seconds. Get ready for this. Last one right here. Bear push ups. All right. So, in position, push up, row, left arm only. Do not alternate. Good, you got it. Come on. You may only get four reps, you may get 10 reps, but you give it your best. Don't worry about anybody else, just you. Good. Come on, you can do this. All right, up to your feet for another row. Here we go. I want you to feel this one in your back tomorrow. Lower and upper back. Here we go. Good. We've got about 12 seconds left. Perfect. Seven seconds on this one. Back to our bear plank next. We do have a long rest coming up. That's the good thing about this third little round right here. So now push up, row on our right arm. Push up, row on the right arm. Good. Row. Oh, hands are getting sweaty. It makes it harder to hold these dumbbells. Oh, pull that dumbbell up nice and high into the rib cage. Make those reps count. Don't just do a simple motion. Oh. All right, here we go. Reverse. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Sarah's like, we're resting. I'm resting early. That's all right. We're almost there. At least get six to eight reps of these out. Maybe more if you use it lighter. Whew, maybe less if you're going heavier. 12 seconds in our long rest. Good, you can do it. Five seconds. Almost there. All right, dumbbells down, set them down nice and gently. Now we can rest. We got 90 seconds to rest. Catch your breath, I'm gonna explain the next one to you. So I'm gonna be using 20 pound dumbbells during this circuit. Sarah is strictly gonna be using 10 pound dumbbells during this circuit. Our first exercise, we're gonna do a burpee bent over row hold. So here's how this one will work. You're gonna take your dumbbells, you're gonna go down, kick your feet out, back in. Do not do the push up. Then you're gonna stand halfway up, you're gonna pull the dumbbells up into your rib cage, just like I've been over a row. And we're gonna hold it for one, two, three, four. Back down, feet out, back up, hold it. One, two, three, four, count. And when you're doing that hold, you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. The second exercise we're gonna do, you're gonna rest your right arm on your knee. We're gonna do one arm row, one arm fly. One arm row, one arm fly. Now. The reason you want to rest your opposite arm that's not working is so you can stabilize your body and keep yourself from swinging all over the place uncontrollably, okay? We'll do 30 seconds on the left arm, then we'll do 30 seconds on the right arm. After that, our last exercise is a reverse grip deadlift with a reverse grip row. So, you're going to take your dumbbells, my palms will face you, you're going to squat down, do a deadlift, up, as soon as the back of your hands touch their knees. 
You're gonna row, all right? Keeping your hands in that reverse grip, back down, squat with it in the deadlift, right back up, row. This is gonna target our lower back and our upper back, all right? Let's get ready for this. We've got about 20 seconds. So get your dumbbells in place. Make sure they're in front of you where you wanna use them. We're gonna be starting with that burpee, bent over roll, bent over row with the four second hold, all right? And I'll count the four seconds out loud the first round. So second round, third round, I won't. With the first one to get us on pace, I'm going to. So grab your dumbbells. All right, here we go. So down, kick your feet out, back up, just pull them up. One, two, three, four, back down, nice and quick. Back up, hold it. One, two, three, four, back down, feet out, back up, hold it. One, two, three, four, down. Back up, hold it, squeeze those shoulder blades together. One, two, three, four. All right, now grab one dumbbell, rest your right arm on your right knee. You're gonna row it up, kick it to the side. One arm fly, here we go. Up, to the side. That's it, you got it. Get it nice and wide with that fly. When you row it up, just pull it into your rib cage, just like all the other rows. It's a pretty good guide mark. All right, 10 seconds left on that side. Row it up, and nice wide fly. Row it up, nice wide fly. All right, here we go, off the side now. So row it up, nice wide fly. Make sure you're resting that forearm. That's not working, resting that arm that's not working. That way you're controlling your body, keeping it from swinging. Pull that dumbbell up, nice and wide. We have our reverse grip deadlifts next. Good. Pull it up. That's it. All right. So for this, turn your palms around. You're gonna pull them up. Back of the hands, touch your knees. Row. And then right back down. Up. Row. Right back down. This is another one you wanna to try to keep looking up. So that way you're not looking down at the ground and rounding your back up because you're keeping your back bent, slightly bent the entire time. There we go. It's easier said than done. All right. Yeah. Almost there. And relax. 30 seconds. Okay, first round, you got it figured out. So if you need to adjust your weight from here, you can. If you want to go up heavier, go up heavier. If you need to drop lighter, drop lighter. But you know what we're doing. We're going to be going back in to the burpee, bent over row hold. A four second count, this time I'm not going to count out loud for the most part. I might mumble it, but I'll try not to. Alright, okay, two, one, sit down, absolutely no push up, right back up and hold it. There you go, right back down. Get that hole in there, squeeze those shoulder blades together, good pause, there we go. That's it, come on. Keep it up. Stay bent at the hips there. Back straight though. Excellent, you got this, come on. Almost there. And perfect, all right. One arm row, pick an arm to start with. Throw it up, nice wide fly. So for this one, row it up, nice wide fly. Let's go hit the back in ways you never thought possible. All right, good. This is great exercise, great workout to do for the upper back. If you don't have access to do pull-ups or lap machine work, something like that, it's one of the best things you can do with a set of dumbbells. All right, other arm, just row it up, nice and wide. And one side of the body is probably gonna be easier for you than the other. Usually one side of your body is a little bit stronger than the other as well. So. If you find your form is sloppy on one side, that's fine. Don't adjust your weights to be heavier or lighter per side. Just stay even with it. Good, you got this. Come on. We're going to reverse grip deadlift next. All right, here we go. So, down, up, and pull it up. As soon as the back of the hands touch your knees, pull it up. Back right, down. Ooh. Feeling that burn? Yeah. There we go. Definitely feeling it. <sighs> yep, this is one you'll probably feel tomorrow. 
in a good way, but you'll feel it. Keep those palms reversed. Yeah. Okay, relax. We got one more round on that. And then we get a little bit of a longer rest. You're doing good. Definitely got the sweat starting to drip. Definitely sweating. Woo, hopefully you're feeling the same way we are. All right. Just one more round. Starting back with those burpees. Been over a row. Ah, feel it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, we're going we're gonna to get some muscle back there. My lower back is, is yeah, it's, getting tight. It's, it's more tired. It's definitely tightened up. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Bit of a row with that hole. Keep it out. Back up. Yep. Lower back definitely has to do a lot of work. Even isolating the movement like this, the lower back's holding that weight. So, but that's the best part about it. You work your upper back and your lower back at the same time. I'm really not counting, so okay. if, you're, if you're going off of my count, I'm just kind of pausing. Uh, you were taking long counts, yeah. long four seconds. These are more like 12 seconds. <laughs> I forgot how to count. All right, single arm row. Here we go. Ah, there you go. Good. Row it up. Nice and wide. Good. Rowing it up. Kicking it out nice and wide. Up. Kicking it out. Woo! There we go. Come on. Seven seconds left on that side. Almost there. All right, here we go. Just rolling it up. Good. Row it up. Perfect. That's it. We got two seconds left. Come on. Nice and wide. Get our reverse grip deadlift next. A few more, few more seconds. A couple more reps. All right. Come on, let's get these. Here we go. Reverse, reverse. So down. Up. Squeeze. Good. Down. You can really feel it in your upper back when you do these too. Getting that nice tight squeeze in there. That reverse grip. Oh yeah. Isolates the muscles. No other. All right, we do have a long rest coming up next. So push through to the end. All right, relax. 90 seconds. Make sure you're ready. I'm going to explain the next four exercises. So get some water if you need it. So now for our third circuit, you can use a t-shirt on this one. I'm going to be, Sarah's going to be using a towel. This will actually help one of the exercises be in a little bit better form. So you don't have to, but it's gonna make it a little bit easier. You'll get a little bit more out of it. But our first exercise we're gonna be doing, you're gonna be in a push-up plank position. I'm gonna be using 10 pounds for this circuit. Sarah's gonna be using water bottles for this circuit. So, push-up plank position, we're gonna do a side lateral and then a front lateral. So this will work your shoulders along with your back. So, front and side. We'll do 30 seconds, of, or 30 seconds on that one arm. Then we're gonna go into a Superman T-shirt pull-in. So for this one, you'll be on your stomach. You're gonna keep your feet up and you're gonna pull the T-shirt back to your neck and forward. Back to your neck and forward. All right, that's gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together. It's also gonna work your lower back. Then we're gonna do that front lateral with the dumbbells on the right arm. Okay, and then the last exercise is going to be a Superman, a normal Superman raise, bringing your hands and feet up. Again, you can use a t-shirt if you want. I'm going to just because it's going to be here. All right, so that's our four exercises on this. We got 25 seconds till we start, so get ready. Whew. All right, so I'm going to get just one 10 pound dumbbell so I don't have a bunch of dumbbells in the way. Whew. Keep that in front. Make sure you're not in Sarah's space too much. All right, seven seconds. So, and you can adjust your weight if you need to on the second round if this doesn't work. But first, side lateral and then front lateral. Go slow on this because it takes a lot to isolate your body and do this. So to the side, that works those lats. Works your back. Good. You're also working your abs when you're doing this. All right, come on, keep moving. Almost there. Next, you're gonna be doing the Superman pull-ins. 
All right, so on your stomach, grab a t-shirt or a towel, feet up the whole time, pull the shirt back to your neck, and forward. When you do that, squeeze those elbows together into your body. This is also squeezing those shoulder blades. Feel it. Oh yeah. Good. Keep working, keep those feet up. Eight seconds. Then we're gonna be going to the dumbbell or water bottle on the right arm. Whew. All right. Definitely a nice little burn there. All right. So, side lat, front lat. Now, if you got a shoulder injury, you may feel this a little bit. I definitely am myself, but take it slow. If it gets to where you can't do it, that's fine. Adjust the weight if you need to. Use your hand only if you need to. I definitely may have to with this shoulder. The last thing you want to do is hurt yourself more. All right, here we go. Superman is regular ones. Perfect. <laughs> Whoo! This circuit's tough. I'm not even going that heavy with weights. It's tough. All right. Good. Here we go. That's it. Come on. A few more reps. Ah. Get those hands nice and high. Ah. All right. That was tough. That was tough. I figured that would be the easiest circuit, but I think this is the most challenging one. Okay. So we got two more rounds on that one. So back up, don't get too rested there in that position. Whew, get your dumbbells ready. We're gonna be going back into that front lateral position, side lateral, but in the push-up plank position. All right, ah, that's it. So five seconds till we start, get ready. Ah, not easy, but we can do it. All right, here we go. Hold on, not too close to you. Nope, okay. Good. There you go. That's it, come on, keep working it. 30 seconds only. We're gonna be doing those Superman pull-ins next with a t-shirt or just your hands if you're not using a t-shirt. There we go. All right, that's it, come on. Transition quick, try not to take too much time. Ooh. All right, this definitely burns. That's makes the Superman so hard at the end. Oh yeah, it is. You get that really nice burn deep in the shoulder blades, the back. I think you don't really work that. Nah, no you don't. It's probably the muscle you'll be sore at tomorrow. All right, here we go, other arm this time. Woo. All right, shoulder. Okay, there we go. Good. Okay. Let's get these. After this, we got those Supermans. It's gonna burn like crazy, but we're gonna get results like crazy. Come on. All right. So now regular Supermans. T-shirts if you want. Here we go. Try to get your hands as high as you can. Yeah, Try to keep the hands up as long as you can. It may only be five, six reps, but do your best. Oh. My arms are getting heavy. Ah, oh, come on. Good. You got it. A few seconds. Six more seconds. Whew. All right, relax. We got 30 seconds. We got, uh. we got one more on this. One more. Doing good, and then we'll have our last circuit coming up. So we're super close, super close. 19 seconds. Ah, little 10 pound dumbbells kicking my butt on my right arm here. Big time. Those hands right. at the end are kicking my butt. Right. Normally I don't have a it's problem a, with those. It's the heaviest towel you're ever gonna use. All right, here we go. Front side lats, plank position. Here we go. Good. There we go. Bringing it up. Good control. Keep your core tight. And that's it. Now, as soon as we get done with this workout, you gotta go get a flex picture in of your back. Because it's gonna be popping. You're gonna be showing some muscles you normally wouldn't be showing. So, you gotta go get a picture of that. Post it on Instagram. Alright. Whew. 
All right, here we go. So, t-shirt pulls. Let's do it. Make it a game. Cheers, that's not what it's Right, no doubt. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Pull those elbows back. Nice and tight. All right, come on. We got this. Almost there. I hope you're hurting as much as we are, because I feel Ooh. weak. Right? We're getting quiet. Like, you know, not talking to y'all anymore. Like, we're hurting here. All right, come on. Whew. All right. We'll do the side lateral with my hand only. Front lateral with the dumbbell. Don't want to tweak this shoulder more than it is. All right, we're doing good. We got regular Superman's next. Then we get to rest for a little bit more time. All right, so let's get ready. Superman, Superman, Superman. Go. That's it. You got it. Really get those feet up, hands up. Work the lower back there. We're doing good. Go. Push through. We got this. We got to finish the end of this series strong. Woo, only like four workouts away. It's crazy. Ah. All right, relax. We got two, not two minutes. We got 90 seconds. Catch your breath on this. All right, catch your breath. I'm going to explain the next four exercises. So for our final circuit, our four exercises, I'm going to be using a set of 30-pound dumbbells. Sarah's going to be using a set of 10-pound dumbbells for the final circuit. Our first exercise is going to be upright rows. We're going to pull the dumbbells up underneath our chin, right back down. When you do these, you want to follow the invisible line from your belly button up to your chin. Make sure your elbows are pointed up. Don't point them down. Don't point them in front. Make sure they're pointed up to the ceiling. And I like to try to touch the dumbbell under my chin, okay? And then right back down nice and slow. It's going to build our traps a little bit, and it's going to work our back as well. The next one is going to be a front plank on our forearms, but we're going to take our forearms a little bit wider than normal. That way, again, we're having to isolate our back. And the last exercise is called a power T push-up. Okay, so this one, I'm using a 30-pound dumbbell. Sarah's going to use a 10. You do a push-up, and then from the push-up movement, you're exploding. And with that explosive movement, you're ripping the dumbbell overhead. So, it's going to look like that. Now, I'm using the 30s. We'll spend 30 seconds on the left arm, 30 seconds on the right arm. We're going to start in 25 seconds. So get your dumbbells ready that you're going to be using. This is our last circuit. So let's kill this. Let's rock. Fist bump. We're going to dominate this thing. You ready? I know you are. Whew. All right. 10 seconds. Starting with upright rows, you can go slow on these. I only plan on getting about six reps. Depending on how much weight you're using, you may get more. But up, touch the chin, right back down. Breathe out when you're pulling the dumbbells up. Control them going down. Keep the elbows up. Control going down. We've got our front planks next. Remember your forearms are going to be a little bit wider. And they normally would be not super wide, just a little bit wider. All right, so forearm planks. I'm keeping my hands in the fist position. I'm going to try to keep my butt down, head up. So yes, it's still going to be working the core and the abs, but it's also going to be isolating your back. Plus your back is your core. So it's the same thing. There you go. Sarah's got a good form on this. There we go. Six more seconds. And we're going into those power T's. All right, so grab your dumbbell left arm. Here we go. Get that push up. Rip it off the ground. Overhead. Don't drop the dumbbell. Rip it. You really gotta get explosive with that push-up. There we go. Come on. If you ever do these inside the gym, you might scare somebody. Especially if you're saying, RIP IT! Out loud. <laughs> Three seconds. Alright, we're going to switch. Other arm. Woo! That's it. Come on. Here we go. Boom. 
It's like a T push up and a renegade row together, doing a clean movement, which is explosive pull. Here we go. Finish this workout with a bang. All right, six seconds. All right, good, relax. We got two more rounds. Two more simple rounds. We're so close. All right, back up to your feet. Get that blood flowing. We got upright rows coming up. Super close. All right, dumbbells ready. Come back in position. Follow the invisible line of the body. Right back down. All right, let's do this. Here we go. So, row it up, down, good control, up, down, good control. All right. Breathe out, pulling that weight up. Control it going down, 15 seconds. We got our wide planks coming up next. Or wider planks, not really a wide plank. Good, nice tight grip. So you don't drop the dumbbells. All right, here we go. So hands wide. Good, keep the butt down. Keep the core tight. You got this. We're gonna finish out our back. We got those power tees coming up next. And then we've only got our final round after that. So, we are super close to being done today. We're like three minutes and five seconds away, actually, without the rest included. All right. Oh my Here we go. We got this. Can I do these on my knees if I need to? You can do these on your knees. Yes, you can. Sarah made a good question. Yes, you can do them on your knees. Pull it up overhead. Power it up. Woo. These will make you feel like a beast right here. Good. That's it. Alright. Other arm. Whew. Except when you drop the dumbbell like that. Come on. Here we go. Push it up. Rip those dumbbells off the ground. Pretend they're glued down. You're doing everything you can to rip them up. Now throw them to the ceiling. A few seconds left. Oh my. <laughs> Alright, relax. We got a last round coming up. We're not gonna die. We may feel like it tomorrow, but we're not gonna die. Okay. 20 seconds, last one. Upright row starting out. Super awesome planks. And then power tees, both arms. That's it. Two minutes away from being done. So close. Oh, but yes, yeah, so far. Alright, eight seconds. Oh, shake it off. Hands are getting sweaty. Alright. Here we go. Up. Down in control. Follow that invisible line. There you go. Go for about six to eight reps. Whoo! Come on. We gotta get ready for summer. I'm just gonna walk around naked all summer. Just flexing. Scaring people left and right. Here we go. Ah. Three seconds. Ooh. All right, let's get that front plank on our forearms. Here we go. Whew. All right, keep your butt down. Head up, arms a little bit wider than normal. Whew. Good. That's it. Whew. There we go. We got those power tees coming up, and that is it. So you may not get a lot, but give it your best. How to fill on your knees? <laughs> I am inaudible right now. All right, and power tees. Last ones. That is hard for me. <laughs> no, you're doing good. You're That's doing good. why I had to go to my knees. For you're doing good. I can't with everything I have on. That's all right. Can you rock it? Much better on my knees, though. Come on. Let's see if I can get about six reps. Both sides. In that 30 seconds. Seems like a pretty good number. To finish. Maybe sound. Oh, oh. All right. Other arm, left side. Oh. Man, it'd be pretty, but let's go. There we go. Not 
making pretty noises either, but <laughs> that's okay. Now you do what you gotta do. That's right. Oh. <laughs> well, you get the reps. <sighs> All right. That's it. That's it, Fit Body Nation. Woo! We're gonna be showing some gains from that. Before we get too carried away, let's get our flex finisher in there. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Killed it today, Fit Body Nation. Sarah and I are super proud of you. Thank you again for working out with us. And like always, make sure you like, you share this video. And if you haven't, subscribe. But most importantly to us, leave a comment below. Let us know what challenge you're working on. I want to see people coming up in the leaderboard. I'm about to take over that number one spot. And with that being said, we'll see you back here Friday for another awesome workout and wrapping up week five of the six-week series. Boom!